again from the garden. So I am out here early this morning doing some harvesting for my first farmer's market of the year, which is tomorrow afternoon. I've been harvesting bouquets here and there, um, basically just to test out vase life. But tomorrow is my very first farmer's market. I finally feel like I have enough flowers that I can do a full market stand. I didn't want to do a market where I just had a few bouquets. Um, because I, I need a variety to sell. So tomorrow is the day. So this morning I'm out here harvesting mainly a bunch of snapdragons that I can put in my fridge. I don't want them to get too far gone in the garden. And then this video will continue tomorrow morning when I harvest the rest of my flowers. And then when I put my bouquets together tomorrow. And then I'll also show you my market stand and how everything goes. So before I actually start harvesting, let me show you everything that I I have that I'm going to be putting in my bouquets this week. And I should also mention if you're new to my channel, I garden in zone 5A in Northwest Iowa. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to be harvesting. So the main thing I'm out here harvesting this morning are my snapdragons. Look how beautiful they are. I have so many. I actually have some in the fridge that I've been harvesting over the last few days just because I didn't want them to get too far gone. Once they're pollinated, that really decreases the vase life them as well. And so I wanted to make sure that I got them um, before they were over halfway open. So this morning, I'm mainly gonna harvest these. Um, I have some Queen Anne's lace that I'm gonna be harvesting. And then tomorrow, I will harvest everything else, which let me show you that. So I have quite a bit of yarrow that I'm harvesting this morning. This is on the inside of my garden next to my greenhouse. I also have quite a bit to harvest on the outside of my fence in my cottage garden area. And then across from the yarrow, the other side of my greenhouse, there's a few more snapdragons ready on this side. Look at how pretty these are. I can't remember what variety these are. Um, I'll try to put it up on the screen, but these are so beautiful. The front of the greenhouse is really starting to fill out, so I'm going to be harvesting some calendula from this area. There's a few different kinds in this spot. I know I have the flashback mix planted, some strawberry lemonade, or strawberry blonde, I think. Strawberry lemonade is a sunflower that I have. Um, and then I am not sure what this yellow one is, but those are super pretty. I got about seven days of vase life out of those when I tested them. Then in this bed, I have a whole bunch of celosia that I can harvest. I have some gomfrina that is almost ready. This should be by tomorrow at the rate it's growing. This bed has quite a few things that are almost in bloom. Um, there's some calendula down in the front. Then my status is almost blooming. My pincushion flowers are almost blooming. And then of course the daisies, those are definitely ready. And then I have a lot of bachelor buttons that I can pick from. And check out this succession planting of sunflowers. They're looking so good. Okay, let me show you what's on the outside of the fence that I'll be harvesting. Um, and then besides those two spots, I have some Rebecca at home that I'm gonna be using and then some perennial grasses I'm gonna clip a few from um, just for texture. Okay, so my cottage garden area on the outside of my fence is starting to look amazing. I started this last fall. This is mostly all perennials and they're really starting to fill in nicely. So out here I have various kinds of echinacea that I'm going to use. I have some bee balm that I might plug in. Of course the daisies. And then some more yarrow.
I have everything harvested. I'm actually in the framing room of my photography studio right now and I'm getting bouquets put together. Um, I've put together a few already. Look at how pretty those are. Aren't they gorgeous? And then I have this one. So I'm kind of starting to get the flow of things too. Um, before I start making any, any more bouquets, let me show you the different flowers that I'm working with. Okay, so what I'm working with today are a whole bunch of daisies. I have some various echinacea. I actually might have to go out and clip a few more. Then these grow at my house and it actually was a volunteer plant. I think maybe it's a sort of Rebecca. Um, I don't know, but they have a really good vase life. I get about a week out of them. I have a whole bunch of snapdragons left. I have a lot of yarrow. I have a few bachelor buttons, um, some calendula. There's a few more snaps. And then this is some of the filler that um, actually is kind of a wildflower. And then I have some Queen Anne's lace, although it's wilting. And so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that very much. All right, so I have a ways to go before market time on my bouquet making, so I really need to kick it into high gear. But so far, I have five $15 bouquets made. Um, actually, I have six because I had a request from someone. I actually was getting gas today, and someone said, can you make me this and I'll pick it up at the market? So I have that one as well. I want to make three more $15 bouquets. I want to make a bunch of $10 bouquets, um, and then... If I have enough supplies left, I want to make some cute little um, short mason jar bouquets, but that can always wait. And I don't have the huge focal flowers that will come in the summer, like my zinnias aren't ready yet, I don't have sunflowers yet, I don't have dahlias yet, so that will all be in a few weeks, but I'm actually really happy with what I have so far. So let me just get going. So this is kind of how I'm doing it, and I am by nowhere a professional. Um, this is actually my first year of doing this, but I'm starting with some tall filler first, and then I've kind of been finding it easy to go in groups of threes, and so I'm putting three snapdragons in, I'm rotating them as I add them, and then I'll put three of something else in, and three of something else in, and then I'll just kind of fill it up till I think it has enough bulk to be that $15 bouquet. So I think I'm going to do another white and yellow one. Because I have a lot of those colors. And I don't know what these are. Hopefully that's in focus. I think it's some sort of Rebecca. It honestly, um, I think got brought in by a bird into our landscaping. So I thought it was a wildflower, but then a local garden center that I went to had this growing. And so it came from somewhere and it has a really awesome vase life and a very pretty color. So I cut these last night and they're beautiful. One more white snap in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of white yarrow. So I'm gonna add some daisies in around the edge and then that should be good. And I like to have the snapdragons up tall so you can really see the height out of those. Okay, so I have a couple branches of yarrow, quite a few daisies, four of what I think is the Rebecca, some filler, four good sized snapdragons. I think that's really pretty. All right, there, that adds. So then I just am making sure I have a bunch of the bottom leaves off. I tear all the leaves off when I'm outside, but there's always a few stragglers. Then I cut it so they're all even. Then I rubber band it. And then the paper I'm using, I have cut to an 18 by 18 inch square. And I fold it up so the points at the top then I lay my bouquet down. 
Then I bring it together at the top. I'm gonna staple above where the branches come out. I fold it over once, fold it over again. Of course, the one I'm showing you is a little messier than normal. And then I staple it again. And then my sticker, which is a two inch circle sticker, goes right over that second staple. And then the bouquet fills out the paper really nicely. All right, two more $15 ones to go. This market, my goal was to have 20 bouquets. I hope I can get there. I know I'm not quite in the height of all of my summer flowers yet, and so I know that I will have more next month. But just to start, I want to at least have that much. So I'm just gonna get making on these bouquets. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. I am pretty pleased. I have nine $10 bouquets and 10 $15 bouquets. So not an amazing amount. Um, by any means, but my garden is really just getting started. I don't have any zinnias yet. I don't have sunflowers. I don't have dahlias. Um, my fillers aren't ready. So I am pretty happy with this for my first week at the beginning of the season. Um, so now it's time to head to the market. Okay, so it's the next morning after the market. I just got everything unpacked from my car and this is all that I have left. Out of all of those flowers, I'm really happy with how it went. Um, basically, this is just a few extras that I had along with one $10 bouquet that a few of the flowers got damaged in transit so I pulled it apart. But out of all of those bouquets, this is it. So I am really thrilled with how my first market went. Um, so the market that I did yesterday is in a neighboring town just about 10 minutes away. It's the town I grew up in. Um, I live in rural Northwest Iowa and so all of the towns are really small farming communities. So the town I was in last night is a population of only about 2,500. So it's a smaller farmer's market. I sold about half of my flowers there. And then when I got home, I actually had some people messaging me on Facebook already wanting to know if I had any left. So I sold a few more and then I did a Facebook post and everything else was gone by this morning. So very successful. Um, we also have a farmer's market here in the town that I live in. We are a much smaller town. Our population is only about 1,200 people, so very small. Um, but we have a nice farmer's market here, so I plan to do that one one week and then the one that I was at last night the other week. So rotate between the two. And for my first year, I think that'll be perfect for the amount of flowers that I have. So. I actually need to go out to the garden this morning to harvest more snapdragons because there is a ton ready to go. So my plan is to do that this morning and put them in the fridge. Um, today is Friday because next week's market here in town is Tuesday and so I want to be able to hold the snapdragons in my fridge till then. Stay tuned for a lot more updates. I'm planning some more dahlia tubers this week. Um, and actually planning some more perennials for next year to use in the cut flower garden. So I'll probably have a video on that. So um, stay tuned and we'll see you soon.